In this video, we will cover initial setup of Field Tracker Pro, including creating years, fields, activities, and general navigation. On login, the first step is to create your year. So we'll click the Add to Year button. And by default, the year is 2013. You can create previous years or future years. Uh, for now, we'll create 2013. Once created, you'll notice it in the list. To move to the next step, click on the year. And now we need to add fields to that year. We hit the Add a Field button and enter the field name. Call this Field 1. And save. You can add a second field. Call it Field 2. And a third field. As fields are added, they are populated in the list. Now to move to the next step, simply click on the field. This is where your list of activities are. And these are all the different things that you can record uh, when you're out in the field performing that activity or when you're back home. To start, you're presented with a message that no field details have been added yet for field one. We'll go ahead and do that. In Field Tracker Pro, you can add as much or as little information as you like. In this case, I'm going to add the number of acres for the field, uh, 20 acres. And you'll notice that it automatically does the conversion to hectares. The opposite is also true. Now you can also add the current crop. And we'll go ahead and do that. We'll say we're planting soybeans this year. And we're going to put barley next year. This is where you'll also be able to record soil test information. By expanding it, you can add the pH, phosphorus, potassium, as well as a number of micronutrients. You can also add freeform comments. And these are just general comments that you would add about the field. Again, you can add as much or as little information as you want. On Save, the general field details that you just entered are then displayed. Field name, acres, hectares, the current crop, and the next crop. Every record that's added in Field Tracker Pro also includes who added the record along with a date stamp and time that the record was added. You can edit that information by hitting the Edit button or go back to your list of activities. The information that was added in the field details, some of that is then populated across the top. And that is simply for ease of, of retrieving the information. So it's soybeans and then the acres in the field. Now I'll go ahead and add tillage information. I'm out in the field. And by default, the task date defaults to today. And that's the date that you're actually performing the activity. You can change the date or leave it to today's date. And again, enter as much or as little information as you'd like. Great conditions. And save. The information again that was added is then displayed. You can edit the record by hitting the Edit button. Or if you want to get rid of the record altogether, you can hit the Delete button. I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to my list of activities and back to my field list. And then I could go on to record information for field two, field three, or I can go right back out to the list of years. That concludes this video on initial application setup.